So I had to put this at the front of the video, man, because I feel like a lot of people be missing it um, somewhere in the in the video. It is Black Friday. As y'all know, today is Friday. It is Black Friday. So from Friday until Monday, it is $100 off the app box. If you're unfamiliar with the app box is, it is a device that allows you to be able to watch um, movies, uh, TV, pretty much whatever app you have on your TV in your home, whatever app you can Get on your phone and watch from your phone or your TV. You can now watch from your vehicle if you have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. It's all you need, and obviously you need some type of Wi-Fi, whether your vehicle come with Wi-Fi or you have hotspot on your phone. Most of these vehicles come with Wi-Fi these days, but pretty much that's all the app box is. It's a simple plug and play. Just plug it up into the app box and plug it into your USB port in your car, and it pops up and it's self-explanatory from if you have a phone, if you know how to work your iPhone, your Android, it's self-explanatory. The same way you go through, download the apps, and you go watch whatever. It, ve the, um, it works while the vehicle is in motion, although I recommend you do not drive the vehicle and watch. It is dangerous, um, but at the end of the day, you do what you want to do. But I had to throw that disclaimer in there. Um, but yeah, $100 off with the promo code, HemiLife44. Make sure you use that promo code. It'll be somewhere at the end, right before you um, right before you pay. So put HemiLife44 for the promo code, $100 off. And if you don't make it right now, if you don't have the money right now to get it, the uh, promo code still works forever. You know what I mean? It's just you won't get $100 off. It'll be more like $50 off. Um, after Monday, but you still get that money out. So make sure y'all go to theappboxllc.com. Make sure y'all get the device, man. Trust me, I use it every day. Everybody I know uses it every day. Like, I, I'm just saying, y'all can take that how you want to say it. I'm going to say don't drive and, and watch it, but I'm going to say this. I use it every day, you know what I'm saying? But just be careful, you know what I'm saying? But um, without further ado, man, let's get right into this video. I appreciate y'all. We gone, yes. What if O gang? What's happening, man? It's your boy Hemi Life 44 back with another banging video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, come in, subscribe, and browse. We're going up all 2022. Well, the rest of 2022. 2022 is almost over. I hope everybody enjoyed their 2022. Um, I enjoyed mine. It was testing trials during that during that time, but I'm pretty sure a lot of other people went through things too. But at the end of the day, we out here, we made it through. You know what I mean? So. Uh, with that being said, make sure y'all like this video, share the video, um, all that good stuff. It really helps with the channel. It takes the channel a long way, man. So y'all really show their support by liking it and sharing it and watching the video. You know what I mean? Now, some of y'all may see my videos. Y'all may see the thumbnail and the title. I, I don't want to see that. Hey, man, it is 20. No, I was about to lie to y'all. It is literally like 40-some degrees out here right now. Um, it's been off and on rain this whole time. Um, I had to wait literally maybe an hour and a half to get this car. Uh, what else? And the fact that y'all could tell by my voice, man, I am sick. You know what I mean? I don't know what's going on. I think it's more like a sinus type thing or something like that. I'm not sure, but y'all could tell by my voice. Last night, I, I really didn't have a voice. Um, it's a little better today. but. Pretty much what I'm saying is I'm out here in the midst of all this making sure y'all get this content. All I ask for y'all to like it. You know what I mean? First of all, watch it, then like it, then subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, y'all already know what's going on by the thumbnail and the title. What vehicle I got my hands on today. I borrowed this vehicle from Palomino Motors, man. If y'all need any luxury type vehicles make sure y'all reach out to palomino motors they are here in dallas texas as for jimmy as for brian as for kevin as for any one of them they can definitely take care of you but i'm gonna get straight to it because i'm it's kind of hard to look at y'all and not look at this car you know what i'm saying so we're gonna get straight to it man yes sir.
without further ado, man, let's get right into it. Like I said before, I apologize about my voice if I sound a little raspy, but I am a little bit under the weather. But as y'all can see, man, we have a 2020 BMW M8 competition, man. Y'all see what's going on. Um, Y'all know, well, to, and that car does that so much. I guess every time I get, cause I had a, cause I had a keys, that dude just went by blowing the horn. Look, I had a keys in my pocket, so it keep doing that. Maybe the closer I get to the car, it unlocks. Yep, that's what it is. And then let's see, when I walk away, it's gonna lock. Let's see. Yep, there it go. I'm not doing that, y'all. So that's one thing that I don't have to speak on about the BMW M8 because y'all just seen it. But let's start with the front. Y'all know I'm a big fan of the grills. Look at that. That is amazing. I'm trying to get my hands on another vehicle that has the probably the most impressive grill I've ever seen in my life. Maybe the most um, the most beautiful car I've ever seen in my life, to be honest. But y'all got to wait for that one. You know what I mean? But this right here is the M8, man. As y'all can see, right here is the M8. Now, there are other models of the M8. Um, there are two up under this one, to be exact. This is like the top BMW. You know what I'm saying? This is the most expensive BMW M series you can buy. You know what I mean? Um, this this vehicle brand new is right around one hundred and sixty thousand um, dollars. I'm not sure the exact price on this one, but you know, yeah, it's somewhere around there because this one is fairly new. This is a 2020, but it don't have a lot of miles. And this is one way you can tell the difference between the competition because it's gonna tell you competition. The other one's just gonna have M8. This is an M8 competition which means this one has a little more power to it we'll get into that and i'll let y'all know the power um if this car don't stop doing this i don't know if i should just leave it unlocked i don't know but let's start with the wheels man i do like the wheels on this on this particular model these are 20 inch rims with the factory colored you know they come this color the brake the brake calibers come this color pretty much the same color as the car this is a crazy blue I actually love this blue I wish the sun was out so y'all can get a good look at this color but this car keep doing this you know what I'm gonna do y'all this is what I'm gonna do for y'all I'm gonna leave the keys right here because it keep doing this so we just gonna leave the keys right there you just stay up there stop beeping stop talking to me like that please Mr. BMW you know what I mean but I do like the wheels the competitions actually come with different rims too you can tell by that um as y'all can see big brake calibers big brake calibers you gotta have it to stop you know all this power when you're going at a high rate of speed which these are six piston brakes you know what i mean you need that to stop that power and you got the the drilled uh rotors you know what i mean that absorbs heat that way your, your calibers don't get that hot that's what that's there for it's just not for looks it's for a reason some are slotted and drilled but these are just drilled which help absorb some of the heat from the uh the brakes when you stop it um nice design on the lights it got bmw laser right there um it got a little blue you see the blue in there the same color as the vehicle well really it's the same color as the the bmw low uh where is it at? right there it's the same color as that blue right there right here on the outside too yes sir man this is a this is an amazing vehicle man i've never just this is my first bmw that i've ever reviewed you know what i mean i will say this is a big this is a big coupe man if i don't know if this camera is doing it any justice on how big this vehicle really is for it to be a coupe now some people say it looks like a mustang y'all let me know if this looks like a mustang to me it don't look like a mustang you know what i mean no way like no shape Form or I don't know where somebody can compare this to a Mustang, but this does not look like a Mustang. You know what I mean? So you got your gas on the right-hand side. All my vehicles, my gas tank is always on the left for some reason. I've never owned a vehicle with the gas tank on the right hand on the passenger side, but you know what I mean? Let's open up this trunk. Well, before we get to that, let's talk about these, these lights back here. You know what I mean? Lights run all the way to the side over here. Got BMW right here. Which, I mean, every little thing, like, they could have stopped the lights 
they could have brought them in maybe over here a little bit and stopped them like right on the edge like most cars but this actually run to the side of the car um which is different and this car also had something called side collision so pretty much the vehicle will steer itself if it feel like you, you you about to get hit you know what i mean it has side collision this vehicle come with a lot of things when you purchase a vehicle uh, for the price of $160,000, you got to know that it comes with a lot more than what you see. You know what I mean? Some of the stuff I'll be able to show y'all, some of the stuff I'll just have to tell y'all about. Let's open up this trunk. You come right down here. Should be a latch right here. I hadn't opened this trunk. There we go. Right there. Trunk is up. Now, small trunk. <laughs> small trunk. But I will tell y'all, I'll give y'all a bit of advice. Or uh, I'll give y'all a hint. When y'all see cars like this, especially a lot of it's a lot of convertibles like this. Even though this trunk is small, man, these coupes, they trunk go all the way to wherever this back seat is. You know what I mean? Like, this trunk, is, it looks like this trunk will be real small. But let me show y'all something. This trunk actually goes, let me move this stuff out the way. These are the mats that go on the inside. Can y'all see how deep that trunk go? That is far back. That is, like, I can literally get in there. Like, I literally can get in there. That is far back. I don't know if this camera do it any justice, but that is real far back. But it's a thin trunk. It's a long but thin trunk. Like you don't have a lot of up and down space. You got a little uh, areas right here. You can put stuff like this where the net will hold it from going where it needs to go. You know, you got your little tools or what have you. Your little air pump right here and stuff like that, what you might need. If you have a little minor, break down you know which hope nobody has that nobody has to go through that you know what i mean that's why i like to keep my tires fresh and you push right here to um let the trunk down but that's why i like to keep my tires fresh man because i don't like to be stuck on the side of the road and a little small carbon fiber wing to add to it make it look a little a little better which i, I actually like i don't like cars without wings on them spoilers whatever y'all want to call them carbon fiber mirror which i like how this mirror don't connect right here that's real like that's dope how the mirror you know most mirrors all this is like it's all con connected but this one just connects right here onto this this is like the the part that the mirror is on right here i like that how it don't do no connecting right there it just give it a different different type look to it that's real dope man y'all get in the comments let me know what y'all think about this vehicle man i like this vehicle this is an amazing vehicle let's pop the hood as y'all can see it says pull twice so what you would do is pull once that opens the hood pull again to unlock it that just unlocked the hood so instead of having a latch now you just come and open the hood you know what i mean Wow, as y'all can see, man. Wow, look at that. Look at this. Look at this. That's amazing, man. That is amazing. BMW power, man. This is 617 horses. This car starts off base price 140 something. You know what I mean? 140 something is the base price, but with all, everything added, obviously it's going to be a little bit more than that. You know what I mean? But y'all see this. Ooh, look at that. Come on, man. Them twins right there. Y'all see that? Y'all know what twins is. Yes, sir. Them twins right there. But it's nothing nothing too special up under BMW M. So y'all know what's going on with that. Y'all know this power when y'all see that. Now, I will say this. The BMW... Let's close this hood right quick. The BMW M5 has this same engine. You know what I mean? So if you don't want to pay for the price of this this um or if it's certain things that this vehicle have you don't want that or you can just say this if you really want this vehicle because it's a bmw it look nice and it has that power you can get the m5 the m5 has the same engine in it you know what i mean but once again this is a bmw m8 y'all see the you got the m on the wheels right there along with the bmw m8 competition carbon core y'all see that the insides look amazing man i like these seats how they did these seats now there's no room in this back 
no room in the back at all for nobody. I'm not even gonna get back there. In case somebody wants to get back here, you just pull this right here. And when you pull it, pull it up, and the seat goes up itself. And you can just get in the back, which is no, I would literally have to squeeze back there. But I'm gonna do that for y'all. I had to move my, that's my work bag. I'm gonna do that. Oh, let me do this for y'all right quick. Let me get back here for y'all. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's no room. Oh, oh, ouch, my knee. See, y'all see that? I don't know if y'all seen that seat just come back up, but once it bagged up and hit my knee, the seat literally went back up on its own. You know what I mean? It felt the pressure and it went, it scooted up and gave me room on its own, which is pretty dope, but this is, I'm cool back here. I'm, I'm okay back here, as long as the person in the front is okay with sitting that close. You know what I mean? I'm actually okay, but I, this is not, you don't get this vehicle thinking you finna ride with people in the back seat or at least grown people anyway because it's not gonna work you guys not gonna work oh i can't get out oh y'all help me oh jesus jesus oh thank you thank you lord yes sir that hurt oh y'all that hurt man i ain't gonna lie to you that kind of hurt me uh just push it back and the seat goes back by itself yes sir like that so let's get in we're gonna talk a little bit about the inside y'all see these speak i can't show y'all because of copyright purposes, but this vehicle has a, a crazy sound system. A Bowers and Wilkins sound system. Y'all see it right here, Bowers and Wilkins. I've never heard that sound system until I got in this vehicle, but it has an amazing sound system, man. It sounds good. That's the, um, that's the, it actually shows the color vehicle that you have up on the dash. And this one has 15,000 miles on it, as y'all can see. But, uh, man, this is so crazy man i like this push this right here that opens up you have your cup holders stuff like that um let's start up the car you want to start the car right here with put your foot on the brake obviously push that oh yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir let me let me let y'all hear the exhaust a little bit The exhaust is definitely not nothing too crazy, but um, y'all can see it's 200 on the dash. And I want to speak about you. Can y'all see those little lights right here? Those little lights right here is for the cruise control. That it's a cruise control on her. Let me bag up so y'all can see the steering wheel. It's a cruise control on her that actually drives the car for you. Um, up under 40 miles an hour. If you're going lower than 40 miles an hour, 40 or or slower. It actually drives the vehicle for you in like stop and go traffic. Y'all know how nobody wants to sit in stop and go traffic, hitting the brake on the gas, hitting the brake on the gas. That get really annoying. So this vehicle pretty much does that for you as long as you're going under 40 miles an hour. Once you get past 40 miles an hour, it's just back to the regular cruise control where you have to drive it. You know what I mean? You have to steer it and all that. But it uh, that's pretty dope. But that is only if this those two lights right there can read your eyes so those two lights are like reading your eyes as long as your eyes are straight ahead and focused on the road it will stay in that cruise control but if you if your if that light don't detect your eyes then hey you, you it's not going it's not going to drive for you people it is not going to work for you but um one thing i like about or not like <laughs> I'm not gonna say like one thing I noticed about this M, this M8. When you wanna put it in drive, obviously you put it in park right here, you press park. When you wanna put it in drive, you have to go down, then go, then go over. Now you now it's in drive. And to go back to neutral, you gotta go back over. If you wanna go to reverse, then you gotta go over, then go up. It's like a lot of movement, like uh, I don't know, it's just <laughs> it's just different from the straight up and down what I'm used to. You know what I mean? And then you have the convertible. As y'all know, this is a convertible. Let me see if I can let this top down for y'all right quick. Let me put this thing back in. Put this thing back in park. There we go, we in park. So I'm gonna hit this right here. Let's hold it then. Y'all see what's happening? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Brains blowed out, boy. Oh, hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. 
Yes, sir. Y'all see it? Got the M8 right there. But I'm not gonna drive it like this, man. Are we gonna push, pull this up? Then that lets it back up. Yes, sir. We're not gonna drive it convertible, obviously, but. Yes, sir, that's dope. There we go, the windows. All that happens with the button up. And we done. Apps. Let's go to apps. This actually does a lot, man. Some of the stuff, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how to get to it to show y'all, but I can tell you about it. I wanted to turn the volume up on her. I don't know how to do it, but with me doing my research on this vehicle, it does that. You can literally turn the volume up by doing this, doing your hand like this. I just don't know how to get to it, you know what I mean? But you can literally turn your turn the volume by doing your hands like this, or you can turn it down, and it'll actually pop up and show the volume going up and going down. You can change the stations like this by just doing it, the station to change to the next check, to the next uh, station. So pretty much it's, this right here reads motion. You can just do this and, uh, um, the station will change and the volume will change and all that good stuff, man. It's 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 dope. You got the competition down here, just in case the passenger the passenger in the car forgot what they was riding in. You open this right here, you see it opens up like that. You got a little space in there. That's a that's a decent amount of space. And you close it. But um yeah man, I actually like how those those speakers are hidden. Can y'all see then this one right here is like a cyclone speaker up there. Can y'all see that in there? You know what I mean? It's like a cyclone type speaker. And all of this at night, I wish it was kind of night, like dark outside, y'all could see the ambient lights. It's, it's lights all in here. The, the whole radio and all that is lit up by lights. And also when you open this door, y'all see how the light blinking red now? That's for when you open the door. And like say for instance, you sitting here with the door open, it could be a cyclist coming. Or it could be another car coming and those lights is like an emergency like it's like a safety hazard the blink the lights you know it's just you never know people not paying attention it's just they try to put as much safety on as possible because believe it or not people have been i don't seen videos where people sitting with their door open and come somebody come knock their door out or a bike running to their door so it's just like a it's like a safety thing they added in there with that light blinking like that once you open the door and when you close the door it goes back blue Let's push M mode right here. Push it again. Change to sport. Let me hold it to go in the track. I'm gonna hold it. Okay, now that I held it, I'm going to track. It says activate track track mode. We're not trying to go into track mode. I'm just showing you guys that that's where you do that at. That's what the the uh, M mode stands for. It's pretty much a race modes, stuff like that. This the exhaust. Turn the whoa 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 let's see oh yeah that's the difference oh yes sir let me see if y'all can hear that out here so that's an exhaust mode right there it actually changed the exhaust that's crazy it actually can y'all hear that listen y'all hear that that popping that's crazy. And another thing I want to show y'all, man, when you go into track mode, the whole screen goes off. See, now I'm in track mode, right? So when you activate track mode, that whole screen goes off because it wants you to pay attention. You know what I mean? It actually wants you to pay attention. It don't want you looking nowhere else. You know what I'm saying? So this screen, this screen actually goes off when it goes into track mode which is dope. And once you once you get out of track mode, it comes back on. So I'm gonna do that again. If I go into track mode and I activate track mode, the screen goes off and you know, it's pretty much just wanting you to focus on what's going on right here. And also the heads up display changes too. Y'all see the heads up display right there? That actually changes. But if I want to turn that screen back on, pretty much I'm just gonna get out of track mode. I'm out of track mode and you see, now the heads up display and change is just showing the 30 miles an hour and my speed. Without further ado, man, we're gonna drive this thing. I have to hold my camera today because 
I don't have my uh, deal. My deal was kind of, I had it on my car for a while, and I don't want to stick it on this windshield. It might leave a little, a little spot showing that it was up there, and I don't want to do that. So we're going we're gonna to drive it. Right now, I have it in regular mode. I'm not going to put it in nothing crazy. Just because of the just because of the RPMs, I am going I am going to test out the speed for y'all, but I'm not going to go but I'm not going to go too crazy. You know what I mean? I'm not going to go too crazy on for y'all, man. It also has the modes right here where you can set these modes to wherever you want them. That way, if you got a mode that you like, you can boom just be in that mode, or if you got a more of a comfort mode, you can hit this one and it'll take it straight to that comfort mode mode of your choice, pretty much. But um, yes, sir. So we gon' we gonna get the driving experience. I'm pretty sure y'all can hear this exhaust. Hold on, let me let me uh get out this setting that I'm in. Okay, I ain't, I, I didn't want to be in the um in the setting where I shift myself because I got I'm holding and I'm still in that setting. So let me get out this setting. Okay. Oh, we good now. Ah, let's go. We just gonna go here. Give y'all a little hit. Woo. That's different. That's different. Like I said, I couldn't hit it too hard, but 617 horsepower, y'all do the math. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, y'all imagine what that's like. That's that's crazy, man. You can really feel it. You can really f let me let me. I got the exhaust on, so that's crazy. It sound good too. This car sound good. This car sound and it ride good. It rides good for it to be this big. Yeah, I like this. This car got this car definitely got some power to it. Definitely has some power to it, man. Um. I actually like this car, man. This is very dope. It feel it, it ride it ride good. It ain't it sit low to the ground, so you get that like in tune with the road feel too. You know what I mean? It's, and like I told y'all before, it's a big coupe. Like this is probably one of the biggest coupes. And but the thing is, some people like big coupes, and it's not a it's not a big market for big coupes. You know what I mean? Like not everybody has big coupes. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, let me turn around right here. I'm gonna get ready to take it back because it's starting to rain. It's finna start raining. But uh, yeah, man, this is this is dope. It rides real good. I like how the steering is nice too. Honestly, yeah, this this, this car quick. <laughs> this car is quick, especially for its weight and all that. This car is definitely. I like this. But um. Yeah, man, we're going to go on and take it back and drop it off. Like I said, we're not going to go too crazy. Y'all know me. I just show y'all, just, you know, show you what it does. Where you going? You turning? Okay, fam. I can't because if I wreck this car, I got to pay for it, my boy. You know what I'm saying? But um, this, uh, y'all know me. I don't go too crazy in these vehicles, man. This is not my vehicle. I appreciate Palomino for letting me borrow this vehicle to do this review. You know what I mean? So I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to do what I say I'm going to do when I'm away from the dealership. Some people might say, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. Yeah, I'm not going to do this and then go crazy in it. And sometimes they go crazy in it just for the fun, just for them. They don't even record it. They don't put that in the video so they think you didn't go crazy. But no, I actually record everything. I do what I say I'm going to do. And I think that's why a lot of people, a lot of these dealerships don't mind me driving their vehicles. But uh, yeah, man. Oh, that's a nice little charger right there. We headed back to the dealership right now, man. So y'all get in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all like, what y'all think about this BMW M8. I like it. I feel like it's an amazing vehicle. It drives good. It handles good. You know what I mean? All it. The steering is good. The steering wheel feels good. Everything. I, I like this vehicle though. I actually like it. Me personally, it's other vehicles that I would buy before this one, like the one that I'm trying to review now. You know what I mean? I would definitely buy that one before I bought this one. But th that one is also a lot more than this one, too. So, and matter of fact, they pulling one of them out right now. I'm not going to show y'all. So, y'all, y'all won't get no, uh, where we at? Where we, where we going to park it? We're going to bag it up right here? Yeah, we're going to bag it up right here, man. 
Yup. So, ooh, I'm not good with this camera. This camera different. This camera different. Okay, but I'm, but I am good with it. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, we can go back some more. I'm done. Yes, sir. Put it in part. So, yeah, man. So, that's going to be a wrap for this review, man. I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure y'all like and share the video. So, y'all stay tuned, man. Y'all make sure y'all share this video. Man, even if you don't even if you don't like the, the car, man, share the, vehicle, share the video just for the support of the channel purposes, man. Like I say, this is my channel, but this is our channel at the same time. Whichever, whoever rock with me, I can't do this without y'all. You know what I mean? So y'all part of this too. Make sure y'all stay tuned for the rest of these videos that's coming, man. But I do appreciate y'all, man. I really do. But y'all know how I end out my videos. In the meantime, in between time, to the next video, how to your boy, I'm out. Yes.